where is this seeing happening? We can't find in the seeing itself, we can't find an in and an out. Seeing's happening here. It's about all we can say. But here turns out to be a beginningless and an endless space. The, the, the possibly paradox of it, but the, the, the more we actually inhabit what we call this individual, the more we in, ha, fill out into the uniqueness of this expression of life, the more that seems to include everything that uh, is met, everything that's seen, everything that's heard, everything that's felt, everything that's met, everything that's uh, received. And, there, and in the exploration of this sense of uniqueness or individualness, we find the whole of life. Similarly, if we, if we explore the other end of the scale, in whatever way we have access to it, and for some that access might just be a longing, a longing for contact, a longing for whatever your version of that kind of unity, universal embrace might be. We might get explore it just through our fear of it. Oh, God, what universal embrace? Ooh. Might sound a very, uh, not very stiff upper lip English or something might sound very confronting. I was just staying in London with a friend who, uh, who was telling me that she, uh, she uh, called her father, her and her partner, they called her father yesterday to say they were going to come down for lunch. And her father being, you know, very uh, rather, um, not somebody who would probably enjoy even the term universal embrace and so uh, they called to say are we going to come and, and yet very very fond of his daughter right and uh, living some distance away and so Mrs. Herbert wouldn't necessarily find it easy to say that so uh, and he has a dog called Cassie so they said oh we thought we'd come down for lunch on Sunday or something so the uh, father says oh jolly good Cassie will be very happy to see you <laughs> And of course, she, she realizes that, that's his, that what he wants to say is that he'll be happy. Right? And yet sometimes, the, 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 and for some people, the world of, of, a kind of connection, of intimacy, of contactfulness, is, is, uh, feels frightening. Usually, depending on what kind of disruptions to, that, to the kind of healthy working out of that rapprochement conflict. That, that exploring of continuum happened to us when we were young. Right? The exploring of how to land in some sense of individuality and how to, how to land in or being given a context to land in some sense of real care, embrace, some context in which we could relax, a context that we could trust, that we felt safe, that we felt loved within. So we may have our various kind of either a kind of a longing, maybe even a desperation for that kind of uh, intimate contact with ourselves, with another, with life. It's just different scales and contexts that that can play out in. We may have a fear or resistance to that with ourselves, with others and with life. And despite though one or other of those positions we may also have some real sense ourselves of moments in which we felt particularly at rest within in contact with particularly held by life itself and often the initial sense of those kind of experiences is that the individual 
the sense of uniqueness, individualness drops away. It seems to be inherent in that experience that is part of the delight of it is the relief from the egoic contractions of self, the relief from the demands and defenses and distractions of self. And there's often a sense of beauty and relief and bliss to that. And yet, and one sees this in, in uh, kind of spiritual scenes, there, what can easily happen then is we kind of swing from the secular uh, emphasis on the life of the individual, we then spring back to a kind of pseudo-spiritual emphasis on the life of unity, of oneness, of not-self. And there's some time, and there's easily a kind of a longing for that, or the embracing of that, or the wish for that, or the emphasizing of that, tends to then denigrate the other part, the uniqueness, the individual. We find us at all. That's all. That's that complicated, tricky world of uh, the, of the self. And yet, if we actually, as we explore, to whatever degree we have contact to that sense of uh, rest in contact with oneness, with where does it get experienced? It's also known here, in this heart, in this mind, in this. Uh, organ of consciousness that we are. It gets experienced and it gets expressed. Our own deepest understanding, our own most unitive, uh, profound, beautiful experiences find their unique individual expression in us. You, know, you may have, if you you know, you may have either practiced with different teachers or read various kind of the lives of various spiritual luminaries or whatever, and been touched by the lives of people who seem to have a very clarified relationship in life. But what you notice is that the the, the whoever they may be and however they may uh, teach or act, that there's a lot of variety, there's a lot of brightness, there's a lot of uniqueness. For instance, in this Asian tradition, you, you, know, you may be familiar with various different kind of Asian teachers or masters or various kind of saints and sages of the Hindu or Buddhist tradition. Or, or maybe you have a you know, connection with other traditions. And so we recognize this kind of shining uniqueness that people who we most, uh, seem, that we most think embody these qualities have. And yet... If we contrast that to our own sense of how we orientate towards spiritual life, it sometimes can be, and particularly in the Buddhist scene where there's this emphasis on not-self, it can sometimes be an attempt to kind of flatten out and do away with even the individualness, the uniqueness. I wish to somehow disappear into the primordial unity soup. So in that end of the spectrum, as we explore, as we get more familiar with those experiences, very important to recognize, oh, they get th that depth of understanding, that depth of contact, the beauty of that, the importance of that, the truthfulness of that way of knowing one's utter non-separation, utter inclusion, utter intimacy with all of life that realization gets expressed in this heart, in this mind, in this body, in this way, in the, with this contribution to life. So that the, those, the, what's, that dynamic tension actually each is found within the other. And that as our familiarity with that dynamic deepens, they they cease to be opposite ends of an extreme and somehow difficult to describe but um, our, our, we might say our equal expression